Curbside recycling is a free service, yet only about 32% of all city households participate. Could it be that Hot Spring citizens don't know how or what to recycle? Well, today we're going to show you how to recycle, how easy it is, what items to recycle, and when to recycle. And with me today is Sanitation Director Randy Atkinson. Welcome, Randy. Thank you. Good to be here. With uh, less than two, year, two, two months rather on two board months. so far with the city, just how months. are things going so far? Going well, just uh, trying to learn the process, the layout, and uh, get a feel for uh, how everything goes. But they got a really good operation going already. I did my homework prior to coming on and I uh, saw they had a really good setup and we're just gonna try to tweak it as we go. But uh, this is one of the facets of it, and uh, the recycling program that we definitely wanna look at and uh, trying to get uh, more participation involved though. So. Well let's start off with the history of curbside recycling in the city. How did it begin? Yes ma'am, uh, I understand back in 91 I believe it was there was actually a private contractor uh, came in and did all the residential recycling and everything for the city and in 06 the board of directors and uh, the administrator decided to go to uh, the city owned uh, equipment and so forth and uh, it was born in o January of 06 the city took over recycling residential garbage collection and all the uh, uh, solid waste uh, facets. Mm -hmm. Well here we are on, on one of the beautiful streets in Hot Springs off of Park Avenue you can see a couple of blue bins behind us oh, so let's begin with what items are collected at the curb. Okay currently at curbside our trucks will pick up cardboard uh, aluminum cans, newspapers. Majority of the material we get are newspapers, of course. Uh, last year, I think in 2014, we collected roughly 127,000 tons, or I'm sorry, 127, yeah, 127 tons of recycled material, of which about 108 were newspapers, uh, cardboard, then the aluminum and the phone books which uh, in last year's market generated somewhere in the neighborhood of around $10,000. So on the curbside program, they actually pick up every other week, say in this particular neighborhood, they'll come this week and then there'll be a week lapse and then they'll be back the following week. Mm -hmm. So you have two weeks to, to collect your recyclables in, in the bins and they yes, can be mixed. Yes, ma'am. Everything can be mixed in that blue bin. If you recycle enough that you need additional bins, they are free of charge. It's a free service, and we just want to we want to you know encourage people to recycle because the more they put in those bins and the more we recycle, the less is going to the landfill, of which we're running out of space to bury garbage. So the more we can take out of that process, then the more time we've got for landfill. So. And that is a key reason to recycle, to save the landfill space, but it also saves space in your cart. Absolutely. Oh yeah, if you, I'll use an example, my wife and I, just two of us at home, we recycle and we might have one bag of trash a week. So yeah, it's unbelievable what you can take out of your trash that is recyclable. And I know that uh, the citizens probably have read in the paper that we are starting a pilot program for uh, plastics, ones and twos, preferably just nothing but bottles, which would consider uh, soda bottles, uh, detergent bottles, water bottles, and so forth. And uh, if that program goes as well as I believe it will over about a two month period, then we're gonna probably go citywide with plastic collection and I'll begin bailing plastics and uh, there is a commodity out there to sell those as well. So try to generate more revenue for the city. Well, a lot of people are excited about the addition of plastics curbside. Of course, they can already do it at the 24 seven collection, uh, drive through collection area that you have yes, at the corner of, of Runyon Street and Valley. Yes, uh, and that's a wonderful service. But curbside, what, what convenience there is. Now, how do people prepare their items for recycling? If you have a, a plastic, for instance, do you have to remove the lid? Uh, we would prefer they take the lid off. They don't have to, but you know, just for their convenience, if they'll remove the lid, let's say a Sprite bottle, you rinse it out, shake it out, throw it in your container, then you're not dumping something in there that you're gonna get a sticky surface inside your container and over time probably bees, ants, flies, and so forth. So 
If they would uh, rinse them out, aluminum cans, same way. If they'd rinse out their aluminum cans, it just makes a cleaner operation. <laughs> well, good. So not much preparation needed. No, not at all. Mm -hmm. It's just a desire to do so. Well, we talked about the fact that collection is twice a month, but when there are residents who are confused as to what their recycling days are, yes, how can they find out? They can call our main office, which is at 321-6911, and uh, ask if they're already recycling and not sure of their date. Uh, the girls in the office can tell them. Or if they call in and see this program and would like to start recycling, call the same number. It's a free service. Our guys will literally come out and bring a bin and deliver to them with a map and their days of recycling. And speaking of your guys, there are some beautiful brand new recycling trucks rolling down the streets these days. Yes, ma'am. We uh, got two new trucks just in the last probably eight months. Uh, we're very proud of. They can operate from either side. So if, when it's a one-man operation, the driver doesn't have to jump out of one side and cross the road. He can actually drive from the side he's picking up on. And they're just a tremendous asset to the department. Well, wonderful. They're certainly fun to watch while they're in action. Um, there's also details of recycling available in a brochure that you have with sanitation. Yes, ma'am, there is. And uh, the brochure's been out quite a while. Uh, we hope to be updating it, uh, you know, in the next month or so. Uh, I've, like I say, only been here like six weeks, but we're looking at all the different facets of recycling and hope to add some more commodities to make it better for residents to where they're not throwing it in the trash and it's going into a landfill. So stay tuned. Randy might have some more announcements <laughs> in the future to tell you about the expansion of recycling. Yes, ma'am. Um, so uh, uh, online, residents can access their recycling schedule so yes. that they know what their days are to put the curb to put the blue bin out at the curb and they also can access the sanitation brochure on the city's website yes ma'am and that's www.cityhs.net what is a phone number for citizens to call with questions again it's uh, 321 6911 is the main office and uh, the girls will be more than glad to help out in there in any way we can not only recycling if it's a uh, you know, a residential question of when my trash needs gets picked up or my trash got missed or our CAPS program of where we pick up, uh, you know, limbs, large items, bulky items and so forth. They can schedule that. So uh, we, we're trying to do the best we can to provide the best service for the citizens of Hot Springs. So. Well, it's easy. It's free. What's not to love about curbside recycling? Uh, absolutely. I, I love it. I, I'm very fond of it and hope that we can uh, increase the participation uh, better than the 32 percent we're getting now. So thinking about call, think about calling sanitation and inquiring one of those blue bins. Jump in. It's easy to do and it certainly helps to make a cleaner and greener hot springs. It Absolutely. helps our environment. There are many good reasons to participate in the program. Yes, ma'am. Uh, we'd love to see phone ringing off the wall the rest of the week and we'd start putting out containers. In fact, we uh, have placed an order for an additional 4,000 containers today, hoping that from all the publicity we're putting out about recycling, we'll increase participation. So we're anticipating great things for the curbside recycling program. Randy, thank you for, well, thank for you explaining for the me. details today. Uh, give sanitation a call and get started. Next week, we'll bring you more city news.